Yo, what's happening guys? Gino here. And today I'll be showing you two really good programs that I use to keep my computer clean and safe. Um, the, Both of these programs are free, but both of these programs do have paying versions. Like if you want to pay for the program, um, then they, they will give you like extra stuff to it. But basically the first program and the second program are called um, CC Cleaner. Some people call it a CC Cleaner, but I don't know why. But it's actually called C Cleaner. And the other one is called... Microsoft Security Essentials or Essentially, whatever how you want to say it. I just say Essentials, and basically both of these programs are really really good. I use these like almost every day to clean my computer out of all the junk it has on it and all the files it has on it. Whatever, whenever I just want to be safe on my computer, then I have to scan it. Every fall, get just be just be careful and just be in the safe side so I don't be ratted or hacked or anything like that. Um, but to download these programs is really simple. It's going to open up your web browser and it could be any web browser you want I'm just gonna use Google Chrome and once your web browser is open I'm just gonna wait for it to load up it's going pretty slow today because my mom's on the internet upstairs but once you get to your browser or whatever go to the search bar and type in google.com and then once you get to Google you're gonna to want to type in C cleaner right here and just press enter and it should be the first first link right here but, however, this link will be in the description below, so you don't have to go through all that hard work. But if the link does not work, just go to Google.com and do exactly what I just did. Now, this program, to download it, you can just um, search all over the page for your type of program. And you can even read about it, or your type of web browser, excuse me, or system. But if you're downloading from Mac or PC, regular PC, just downloads it right here. Um, you can look at the screenshots and the reviews about this program and all that kind of stuff. But just basically search the whole entire page if you want. This program is completely safe. Um, has no viruses. You can scan it, whatever you want to do. And yes, it has a whole bunch of different versions to it. It has a deflagger thing. It has a whole bunch of random stuff. But if you're going to download CC Cleaner, um, I believe it has two of them that you could download the pay version and the free version. This is obviously the free version right here. And if you want to get the other program, the other program is really good as well. Just go to google.com and type in Microsoft um, Security Essentials or something like that. Microsoft Security Essentials right here should be the first, third one down when you type in Microsoft. And then go to the first one as well, but this will be down in the description below. And once you get to this website, this website is obviously really safe since it's run by Microsoft. And all you got to do is look for a download button and just press download. Um, Yeah, it should be right here. Right in his box with the Chinese guy or Korean guy, whatever this guy is. I'm not trying to be racist. But anyways, just select your version, Windows 64-bit or 32-bit, and just press download. And once you download both of these programs, this is basically how it's going to look. I'm just going to go show you the Microsoft program first. Um, You can also, once you download this program, you can also like save it to your desktop or save it to wherever you want. But anyways, let's get started. Um, for the Microsoft one, um, you once you open it up, it basically scans your computer. A quick scan is usually the thing that I do, but like once a month, I would do this. The full scan, the full scan takes a long time due to the fact that it scans every single part of your computer. I did the full scan, and this is how much items that it was found, like junk it was found. I, they found on my computer, so you're always gonna want to do scan now if you want to just do a quick scan. Even if I do this quick scan now, there's so much files on my computer. As you see right here, it's scanning every single basically program on my computer and file with all this stuff right here and if it's a large file as you see it would slow down just to clean it up a little bit but then I go right back to fast and speedy or whatever um the update tab is basically your whole entire program right here the Microsoft program itself um and this is also your computer like Windows um update as well so you, my, as you see mine is up to date if you want to double check it you can just scan it really fast by that and you can just go through all this stuff while this is loading or whatever. And as you see, it's already on 12,000 items scanned. So that's a lot. But if you do, like I said, my program, my computer, my computer, excuse me, is up to date. So, yeah. Um, the history, this is just basically arcades, brand arcade web, antiviruses, things. I allowed this one for my personal thing. I'm just going to block this off so nobody can see it. Oops, as you see right here, this went back to the normal. Or back to this page and it scanned 15,000 items. That's a pretty uh, big number. A full scan takes a really long time. I'm just going to show you how slow this thing up moves real fast.
but this scans basically a whole entire computer. And this last time I did this, it took literally an hour and a half, two hours almost. But it actually tells you the time um it took and the time that it started. This is not the real time on my computer. I just too lazy to change it. It's like seven o'clock over here. But um yeah. So as you see, this is the history. This is all the viruses that's on your computer that, that it detected, and it actually gives you the the thing to allow it and deny it. If you don't want it on your computer, you can press allow. If you don't, then you can remove. Um, the settings you can do a quick scan every Friday at around 10 p.m. You could just pick whatever day you want, whatever time you want. Like it does it by itself without you asking. I have mine set for every Friday and for a quick scan. And usually I have it on full scan once a month somewhere, but I don't know what happened to the settings. Um, you just mess around with all the settings right here and just see what you want and just see what you want to do. But that's basically it with this program. This is going to take a really long time, so I'm just going to cancel that. And if you need any help, just go to the help bar and they will help you. They have live support with this program as well. So yeah, that's basically it around for this little program. So you can go ahead and close that out. Now for Seed Cleaner, if this is the first one that I've been using for a really long time. And this program, you don't have to buy the full version because this thing is actually really good. It actually tells you the computer that you have right here. So this is my computer right here that I have. Um, it shows you the exact everything, the HD graphics card, all that kind of stuff. Um, but right here, you should see Windows tab. Um, you can go ahead and check on anything like this if you want. Just check whatever you want your computer to scan. And it will actually scan it for you. Just analyze it before you scan it. And as you see, this is the the random stuff. Um, I already I already cleaned my computer out before I did this, but as you see, it just removed 32 or 41 um kilobytes of your from garbage or your computer. And you can keep on doing it over and over until it says zero. And it should say zero now. Or as you see right here, I skipped the internet one just because I'm on it right here. But if I close this out. Now I scanned it again, it should be zero next time I scan it. So as you see one more time. As you see zero bytes removed, that means my computer is completely clean. But this program is not as strong as the Microsoft one due to the fact the Microsoft one is a bit of a better program than this one, but this one also is a really good program. Now the registry one, registry tab or tab, whatever you want to call it, um scans your computer's um like applications, fonts and all that kind of stuff. And you just press scan for issues and it should scan all the issues on your computer. And then once you're done scanning it, just go to fix selected issues. And if you want to make a backup, you can. I always do. I have like a folder full of backup stuff right here. And just press save. And then press fix all issues. And then press close. Scan for it. Keep on scanning until it says zero. Or keep on scanning until it says no issues found. The tools bar is actually a really cool program. I go to, I go to this program before I go to my control panel because that takes a long time to load you can just come to here and basically uninstall any program that you don't want with just a touch of a button so let's say if i don't want adobe flash whatever i want to rename it you can uninstall it delete it save to the text file do anything you want with it um you could change what your computer starts up so when you can, my computer starts up it automatically starts up with skype and random stuff like this you could disable stuff here enable stuff um so yeah, it's a really helpful program. You could system restore your whole computer, drive wipe your whole entire disk drives and all that stuff. I did this one time, my computer was messed up. I just cleaned out every single thing in my drives. But yeah, it actually deletes everything, so I suggest you not to do that. You can go to the options and also just mess around with the settings, cookies, and all these advanced options right here as well. And yeah, it's really simple to use. It shows you... um. Just basically how to use it. If you have any questions, just go to the little green pair or whatever this logo is. And if you think your thing is out of date, go back to my old video and go to patchmypc.com or .net. And, or you can just come over here to check for updates and it automatically checks by itself. Alright guys, well that's it basically for this video. Hope this video helped as much as it helps me. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it helped. And yeah, peace out guys.